Next, we have Senator Rosen. Thank you. I want to thank Leader Schumer for leading our delegation, and I also want to thank my Democrat and Republican colleagues who came on this visit to show a bipartisan, united front. Americans have seen the heart-wrenching report showing the carnage and brutality of Hamas's terrorist, terrorist attack. Young people gunned down while trying to flee a music festival. Children brutalized and burned to death and Holocaust survivors ripped from their families. It may sound like a nightmare, but it's real. And I'm here to tell the world and to tell all of you, it's all too real, all too devastating. We cannot and we must not look away. As the only Jewish mother serving in the United States Senate, meeting with Israeli parents whose children have been held captive by Hamas, hearing those stories, seeing the fear and the pain in their eyes, their lives forever changed by this act of terror. That's something that will stay with me for the rest of my life. And I brought these stories back with me along with one message. This is the time to take decisive action to help Israel. Here in the Senate, Democrats and Republicans, both sides of the aisle, must work together and work together quickly to deliver support as soon as possible. And that means providing the funding and defensive capabilities to do the following. Protect the Israeli people. Rescue those who are being held hostage and hold Hamas accountable for the atrocities that they have committed. I fully believe that we can and will get this done because America's support is unwavering and unconditional. I said this in Israel, and I will repeat it now. History has shown, history has shown what happens when the world abandons the Jewish people. And as long as I'm here, America will stand with Israel. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Rosen. And last but 